Greetings. The Blackwoods are a peaceful sanctuary, full of life and beauty. I am glad you have come to visit. Is there something specific you are searching for? Oh, many things have happened in the Blackwoods over the years. Some good, some bad. But I am here to protect this forest and ensure that it remains a place of peace and serenity. Do you have any particular questions about recent events? I'm afraid I don't have much information on the happenings of Vaudeville, as I spend most of my time in the Blackwoods. However, I have had some interesting conversations with the creatures of the forest lately. The grass, a mushroom, a cow and a river all shared their stories with me. They're all very wise in their own unique ways. Perhaps they may be able to help you in your search for answers. Yes, the grass. It told me something quite interesting recently. It said, I quote, Not everybody who steps on me is walking in their own shoes. Quite a peculiar phrase. Isn't it? But it got me thinking about how we all have our own paths in life, and sometimes we may not fully understand or appreciate someone else's journey. Perhaps this could be relevant to your investigation in some way.
second I stepped off the train into the city of Vaudeville, I could feel the weight of its melancholy in the air. Even the drizzle that clung to the city's grimy cobblestones felt a shade darker than your everyday downpour. Vaudeville was a city of high stakes and low morals where vice and virtue danced a wicked waltz. Street lamps flickering like burnt out stars were the only guide through the maze of rain-soaked alleyways and whispering shadows. My name's Martini, detective, troubleshooter, and a lousy sucker for hard luck stories. This wasn't my first circus, but this act was a three-ring special. Three murders, no leads, and a city on the brink of bedlam. The victims were as different as chalk and cheese, each a symbol of the city's vibrant veneer. A young dancer who moved like poetry in motion. Her life cut short mid-pirouette. The socialite, a woman who knew the city's pulse better than anyone else. And then there was the businessman, the embodiment of vaudeville's promises of progress, snuffed out like a candle in the wind. The usual peace in vaudeville was off kilter, replaced by the discordant notes of fear and suspicion. Strangers viewed each other through wary eyes, neighbors turned to strangers, and every shadow seemed to hold a secret. The once vibrant city had become a stage, the curtain drawn on a grim play of mystery and murder. In a city without harmony, the police chief was the conductor trying to keep the orchestra in tune. Gretzky was his name, a seasoned cop with a granite jaw and a heart that had seen better days. There was a stark tension, a raw fear that danced like St. Elmo's fire in his eyes. Whatever was happening in vaudeville had Gretzky out of his depth, and that was a sight I'd never thought I'd see. If anyone could make sense of this twisted tale, it would be him. I'd better head to the police station and have a chat with Gretzky for starters. Trust your instincts, Martini, but I'll bite. T 
tell me more about this supposed connection between the murders. Could you please explain what you mean by that, Martini? Your statement is quite vague and doesn't make much sense to me. Interesting theory, Martini. But how does that help us solve the case? And how do you know that they were all rich and had many opportunities? Have you found any evidence to support this theory? asking me if I have any clues that could help you solve the case. You do realize that's my job, right? Nevertheless, since you asked, I can tell you that we're still investigating all possible leads and motives. But let me ask you this, Martini, have you considered the possibility of a serial killer? And do you have any leads or evidence to support this theory, detective? Or are you just throwing out guesses? Then perhaps it's time to start gathering some concrete evidence before jumping to conclusions. Martini, do some digging, talk to some witnesses, see if there's any pattern or motive behind the murders. We can't rely on hunches or theories alone. What do you say to that? Alright, Martini. Keep me posted on any developments. I'm curious to see what you dig up. Yes, it's been a long day. I'm just finishing up here with some of the post-mortem examinations. It's always difficult to accept the reality of death and the impact it has on the body. No matter how many times you see it. But as a coroner, it is my duty to help people understand the finality of life. It's interesting, you know? The human mind is such a complex and delicate thing. It's amazing how a person's entire being can be reduced to a mere collection of cells and tissues once they pass away. It's a reminder of our own mortality and how fleeting our time on this earth truly is. Yes, it's true. The process of dying can be quite brutal and traumatic and often leaves its marks on the body. But even in the midst of all that, there is a certain beauty to be found in the way the organs and systems interact with each other. How they work in tandem until the very end. It's a 
testament to the resilience of the human form and a reminder of the fragility of life. As someone who has spent a lot of time studying the human body, I can't help but be fascinated by the way our emotions and our physical health are so closely linked. There are so many different factors at play, from genetics and environmental factors to lifestyle choices and the way our brains are wired. But at the end of the day, all of these things come together to make us who we are, to shape our experience of the world around us. Well, Bodville has been experiencing a bit of a rise in certain health issues lately. There have been a number of cases of respiratory illnesses going around, and I've seen an increase in the number of patients coming in with symptoms of fatigue and stress. Of course, these things are all part of the natural ebb and flow of life, but they can be tough to deal with when you're in the middle of them. have been a disturbing trend in Vaudeville recently. I've performed abductions on the bodies of Nicola Grossman, Maria Jansen, and Haley Greenwood. Each of them was killed in a different way, but there are some similarities that suggest they may be connected in some way. Grossman was hit on the back of the neck with a butcher's knife, Jansen was attacked by an animal, and Greenwood was hit repeatedly in the head with a blunt object, possibly a stiletto shoe. about the murders, feel free to ask. No, I didn't witness any of the murders myself. But based on the evidence I've seen and the results of my abductions, I can tell you that they were all very violent and gruesome. The injuries sustained by the victims would have caused a lot of pain and suffering, which is always difficult to see. My heart goes out to their families and loved ones. Detective Martini. How are you doing tonight? I hope you're enjoying your time in Vaudeville so far. I'm actually just getting started with my evening. I was planning on heading to Coral, the underwater themed bar downtown. Have you been there yet? It's really something special. definitely check it out sometime. It's one of my favorite places in the city. But enough about me, how's your day been so far? Anything interesting happen? Oh, I see. That's a tough job but I'm sure you'll get to the bottom of it soon. If you ever need any help or support, don't hesitate to reach out to me. As a friend of Haley's, finding out the truth about her murder is very important to me too. Honestly, Detective Martini, I don't know much more than what's been reported in the news. It's also scary and tragic. But what I do know is that we can't let fear take over our lives. We have to keep living and pursuing our dreams, 
just like Haley would have wanted us to. The news has been reporting on the recent murders in Vaudeville, but they haven't released many details beyond that. It's all very unsettling, but we have to stay strong and not let fear control our actions. On a brighter note, have you had a chance to explore the city at all? There are so many amazing places to visit. The news has mostly been reporting on the murders themselves, trying to piece together any clues and information that might lead to the killer. It's all very unsettling. But I don't want to focus on that right now. Instead, let's talk about something more positive. What do you like to do in your free time, Detective Martini? Detective Martini, I'm sorry, but I don't think it's appropriate for me to discuss such gruesome details. It's important to remember that these were real people who lost their lives, and we should treat their memory with respect. Let's focus on... you here today. Oh, you mean the recent murders in Vaudeville? Yes, they are quite shocking. Is there something specific you want to know about them? I don't have all the details, but I do know that three people have been killed in the last few weeks. It's a terrible tragedy. Do you have any information that might help solve the case? entirely sure about the specifics of how they were murdered, but I've heard that the police are investigating the cases thoroughly. I hope they find the culprit soon. Why do you ask? I'm not sure. Could you clarify your question? Honestly, I'm not entirely sure. The media has been covering the story pretty extensively, but as an entrepreneur and socialite, my focus has been on other things. However, if there's something specific you want to know, maybe we can look it up together. Yes. Sorry, my friend. 
but I don't know anything about the murders. The news. Who cares about the news when you can enjoy the circus? Is there something? Well, well, well. What brings you here this morning? Is there anything new and exciting happening in Vaudeville? Oh, the murders. How dreadful. I've heard about them, of course, but I'm afraid I don't know much more than that. I've been quite busy with my own affairs lately. But do tell me, what have you in so far? Sad news indeed. But I must admit, I am more interested in hearing about happier things. Have you come across any interesting pieces of art or artifacts recently? I'm always on the lookout for something unusual to add to my collection. Details. What kind of details are you looking for? I'm afraid I haven't been keeping up with the latest news as closely as I should have. But if there's anything specific you'd like to know, I'd be happy to try and help. Murders. No, I'm not aware of any new developments in the investigation. But now that you mention it, I am too... Life is full of surprises, isn't it? I suppose we just have to take the good with the bad and keep going. Oh dear, it's such a shame to hear about those murders. But you know what they say, every cloud has a silver lining. Maybe it's time for the police to step up their game and catch the culprit. I don't have any inside details about the murders. But I must admit, I find the whole thing quite thrilling. It's like something out of a detective novel, don't you think? Oh, the news is always so depressing, isn't it? But you know what they say, sometimes the truth is stranger than fiction. Perhaps the police will uncover some juicy details that will make for a great story. such a dark and troubling topic. I'm afraid I don't know much about them, my dear. I spend most of my time here in the Blackwoods, communing with nature and protecting the forest. But I've heard whispers on the wind, rumors of strange happenings in Vaudeville. It's a shame that such violence and tragedy can occur in such a beautiful city. Nature speaks in many ways, my friend. The grass rustles, the mushrooms whisper, the river murmurs. They all have their own stories to tell. But as for the murders, they have been silent on the matter. Perhaps they are as perplexed and troubled as we are by these senseless acts of violence. But I will continue to listen to their voices and see if they have any insight to offer. Interesting. And what makes you so sure about the identity of the murderer?
that's quite a statement. I'm curious, what details did you learn from examining her body? see and how exactly did this lady in the morgue come by this information that's strange are you sure that what you're saying is accurate how would the person in the morgue know such specific details about the murders Fair enough. Could you please provide me with more concrete evidence or proof to support your claim? It's essential to have substantial evidence before making any accusations. Well, if this woman in the morgue is truly aware of the murderer's identity and the specifics of the murders, then we should definitely speak to her. Where can we find her? Yes, the morgue would be the logical place to find her. Do you have any more information about this lady, like her name or how she came to know about the details of the murders? Excuse me, Detective Martini, but are you quite sure about your... Well, the human body is a complex machine. It's amazing how many ways it can malfunction. Even the slightest malfunction can lead to serious consequences, as we see in these cases. It's important to remember that even those who seem healthy on the outside can have underlying issues that can lead to unexpected. Well, the details of the murders were gathered from the autopsies that I performed on the victims. It's certainly not a pleasant job, but it's one that can provide answers and closure for families and loved ones. As a coroner, I feel a sense of duty to reveal the truth behind these deaths no matter how gruesome or unsettling the details may be. to say at this point, as the evidence we have doesn't point to any clear suspects. However, based on my experience and the nature of the injuries sustained by the victims, I would hypothesize that the perpetrator is likely a physically strong individual, possibly male with a tendency towards violent outbursts. But of course, this is just speculation. We need more evidence to draw any definitive conclusions. As a coroner, my job is to examine the physical evidence. What exactly are you getting at, Detective Martini? Don't keep me waiting for too long. Saxabar, what about him? Tell me more. Interesting. And how does that relate to Saxabar? Is there any evidence linking him to these murders?
That's a bit suspicious. Do you think he's hiding something? Detective, I'm not quite sure I understand you. Could you please clarify your statement? I'm sorry, but I still don't get it. Are you trying to say that you suspect that Monsieur Saxabar might be involved in the recent murders? If so, do you have any concrete evidence or leads that can help us pursue this line of investigation? That's an intriguing theory, but we need more than just a hunch to accuse someone of murder. Do you have any solid proof or witness statements that can link Monsieur Saxabar to the